occasionally you'll get reports and they will spit out items in a single column like this but we may want to split it into for example three different columns because this account number if you look closely it's got city initials here it's then got some sort of a client number and a department so sitting in here are three bits of data and if we're going to do a pivot table or something like that we need them split out so the tools to do this are under your text category and the ones we're going to use is left right and mid which stands for middle so the left one basically just says look at a cell start at the left and we'll tell it how many characters we want so I'm gonna go left the first one is text what where is the text we're looking at it's that cell there and then the number of characters so it looks like we want one two three if we don't want that dash so I'm just gonna type a three in here and you can immediately see it's what we want and when I copy it down it immediately extracts out of this these cells the first three letters I'm just gonna go to the far right now that's from the right hand side so that function is called right and what this does it goes to the cell goes to the far right the very last character so let's just point there and then we tell it how many characters from the right so when I put a three you'll see it's pulling out those last three characters and I can copy that down only slightly more complex is the mid function which stands for middle so let's go find it and all the mid asks is where's the text so it's the same thing then where must it start so if we leave it like this or we put a one it will be the same as a left but it looks like we need to go one two three four five so we're going to say please start at number five and then it needs to know from that point how many characters must it include it looks like it's one two three four five so I'm going to put a five there and I say OK you'll see it's extracted it so now I can copy it down and we've quickly taken some account numbers and split them into the underlying underlying components another surprisingly useful function is the len function which stands for length and all it does is you point at a cell and it will tell you how many characters are currently in that cell so when I do that I can say so I can clearly see that there's 13 characters everywhere here so this is quite useful especially where for example you expect the count numbers to be say 13 characters perhaps someone typed them in and accidentally put an extra number in and you'll see that but notice as well if I come here all I'm going to do is come in at the end put a space which we actually can't see easily but you can see over here it's telling us there's 14 characters there so it's quite a good way to check if a cell contains the numbers you expect it to contain